was only a matter of time for Blake and Gwen had to do a love song together. Of course. No doubt. It's going to happen. <laughs> gotcha. Thanks for having us on. We were working on a Wednesday. It's 20 till. I'm G. And I'm Q. So yesterday I needed some cash out yeah. of an ATM. Could have right. gone to the bank, but I was closer to a convenience store. So I said, I'll stop the convenience store. I'll get some money out of the ATM. Uh-huh. So thunderstorms had been in the area and right. uh, they had some issues. So I, I go through the whole motion. I put my card in. It it's obviously communicating with the server because the uh, takes my passcode, approves the money, and then, and I'll show you a screenshot, and then for about 15 minutes after that, I get this message saying, your money is being dispensed, please wait. Nothing happens. 15 or 10 minutes goes by. I told the lady behind the counter, come over here and witness this. I said, I just put my information in. She said, well, we had problems with it yesterday. I'm thinking, well, why the hell didn't you put a a sign on it? Out of order sign on it. Yes, you know, if you're having problems with it day before yesterday. But they didn't. So um, I'm starting to get a little freaked out because I look at my online banking and it registered. Uh, Took the money. uh And I'm sitting here waiting. You wait on your cash. On it, spit out my cash. And so far, nothing's happened. So, um, there's a number on the thing. And I'm like, oh, my God. I've got to call somebody. I'm not going to get an answer. You know what? I dialed a 912 area code number for this ATM. Now, my attitude at this point was, is I'm never using an ATM outside of the bank again. South Georgia had a uh, South, South Georgia number, though, right? And a South Georgia man named Jonathan answers. Oh, my God. He talked me off the ledge because I'm sitting here. And I think Jonathan has to fill you out for a second. Right. Make sure that, you know, you're not trying you're to legit. pull nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm legit. Send him some screenshots of what I was talking about. He's talking me off the ledge. He's keeping me calm. Um, he said, well, can you get somebody uh, uh, that works there to unplug? I said, look, just tell me what to do. I said, I work around stuff like this all the time. Right. Tell me what to do and I'll do it. So I unplugged the machine for 60 seconds. Plug it back in. And it said, re- I should have pushed, I think, a button on the screen that would have reversed that transaction. Oh. But I wasn't sure, and I didn't. And right. it didn't give me that option again. So Jonathan says, look, man, there's nothing else we can do, uh, but I can money gram you. I can wire you some money. I'm thinking, really? I said, Jonathan, just mail me a check. Right. He said, really? That's I said, just mail me a check. I give you my address. I give my information. All he needed was a copy of my driver's license. They saw, I'm sure, the last. And I think if they got in there and counted the cash versus what's on the computer, they'd say, "Wait a second, we got this much more money. Right? Yeah. yeah we got hundred bucks more money in here than we should have." So they would have figured it out. But um, and they've got ways to to de- determine that stuff. But uh, basically, to make a long story short, Jonathan said, "Hey, going to cut you a check sent out in the morning. Sorry about that." So for for all of that. Once that machine's fixed again, I'll use it again. Okay. I'll pay that $2 fee. Because if they're giving that kind of customer service from that ATM company, hell, I want to see them stay in business. I will continue to so, do that. So you had a happy ending. I, I had, yeah, really. It was a happy ending for sure because I get my money back and there was no stress to it. Like I said, if, if most customers... Well, once service, you got him on the phone, there was no stress. Right. Oh, yeah. There was plenty of stress <laughs> leading up to that. Before then, yeah. I was thinking, golly, i got to snatch this damn machine out and put it in the car Just and take, take it with me, me. and yep. plug it in at home and wait for it to shoot out my 100 bucks. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Jonathan but, from South Georgia. Way to go, buddy. Yeah. And Jonathan, let me tell you, if all customer service people were like you, God knows this world would be a better place. There you go. Um. So, yeah, that was a good story. But so stressful. I, I said to Jonathan, I said, so I'm supposed to walk away now? I said, what if it just Dispenses is my money. To somebody else. And at some point, once we plugged it and unplugged it back in, that thing wasn't dispensing that money. And if it did, it landed on the floor or something. Yeah. But but I don't think it did. I think that, that money is still stuck in that machine. And uh, I think the, the place I went to still uses dial-up to communicate with them. Uh, so, hell, somebody could, no. be on the, somebody could be on the telephone or something. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, wow. While I was trying to do my transaction. So, it wasn't the ATM company's fault in that respect. And if it was, I got a feeling they keep up to their machines and they keep them serviced pretty well. So, again, thank you. Um, uh, Jonathan out there in Radio Land, best uh, you need to get you need a raise, you need a customer service award. There you go. Because really, when that kind of stuff happens, you get kind of, uh, you know. And you know, hopefully, he's been well trained and he understands that 
in the long run. He, he knew the right things to say. Exactly. People like me, they're usually calm. That kind of stuff will set us off exactly. when somebody's screwing with your money. Right. It will make. But but he just he knew exactly how to handle it. Put me on hold a couple times. Kept apologizing. To put me on hold. I said no. Put me on hold. Do what you got to do to figure this out. I'll stay on hold. So, anyway. Maybe he gets a raise. I hope he gets a raise, and uh, I hope he continues to do what he does because he's good at it. Uh, Forecast-wise, we've got a nice day today, Q-Dog, but it all goes to crap tomorrow. Yeah, 77 for a high today, overnight.